The amazing Acker Cats are a troop of 13 cats that are former orphans, rescues, and strays that have made their way into my life throughout the years. And I now travel the country with them and put on a show that's about an hour long featuring the cats uh, climbing up ladders, walking tight ropes, jumping through hoops, jumping over hurdles, ringing bells, pushing shopping carts, rolling barrels, riding on balls, and they even play in an all-cat band at the end called the Rock Cats. Well, I've wanted to be an animal trainer since I was seven years old. I found an old book that about, you know, about me and, you know, I filled it out and like how many coats I own and what do I want to be when I grow up and I had written an animal trainer or an Indian. Clearly I can't be an Indian, so animal trainer. You can train any animal and it's really, it's all about the person and the patience. It's not really the intelligence level of the animal. What's difficult is getting them to train and perform on cue because Boy, when the cameras aren't rolling and we're not doing a live show, they are just like on their game. But as soon as there's a crowd, it's, it's like the WB Frog where, you know, it, they just sit there and groom and you're left standing there feeling like an idiot. And I prefer Catwoman over Cat Lady because, you know, there's those negative connotations with, uh, you know, crazy Cat Lady. I was on The Tonight Show, but not with cats, with chickens. And we do have a chicken in the show that's pretty active in the show, Cluck Norris. We just got this new new bus, which is an old bus, a, a year ago through Kickstarter. And it's got a share of problems, definitely. But it is better than what we had before. It's roomier, the cats have more space. I um, mean, they have the back third of the bus that's all decked out in cat trees and, and such. So they have, they're living, they're living large. And we sleep on this like rickety old couch that's horrible. And this bed that's not much better either. So there's three of us, a dog, 13 cats, a groundhog, a chicken, four rats, all living in this bus you know, with the two other humans. So it's a little hectic at times. I think everybody's born with a special gift. And I'm one of those fortunate people that discovered this at a young age, had a dream, pursued it, and have actually made my dreams come true. It's almost like a fairy tale life, although a lot of people wouldn't consider this a fairy tale life. But I do because it's something that I've dreamed of.